Welcome to our event tonight. My name is Erica Walker. I'm a Running Start Advisor here in the Center for High School Programs at Bellevue College. And this event is part of our Beyond High School Virtual Series event for this school year. This event is Your Degree Options at Bellevue College, and it's hosted by the Center for High School Programs. Um, with me tonight, we have Anastasia Whitaker, who is another member of the Center for High School Programs, and she is facilitating the Q&A box. So if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them in there, and she will answer some or might save some for the end of our presentation today. The first 30-ish minutes of this presentation are going to be me reviewing content about your degree options, and then the last half is going to be um, a time for questions and just kind of seeing if we can cover those verbally. So I wanted to start today with an introduction. Again, my name is Erica Walker and I'm a Running Start advisor. Um, and I've been here with Bellevue College since February of 2020, right before everything went online. I have a Bachelor's of Arts degree myself. I majored in psychology and Spanish and I got a minor in education. And honestly, that just happened because I liked all of those subjects and I started taking those classes the minute I started college. So I was just able to earn all of those different titles. Um, because those are the subjects I really enjoy. Um, I have five years of experience supporting students through um, college applications. And so I really enjoy talking to Running Start students, other students about their goals for the future and things like that. And my email is listed here as well. So if anybody has questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, this presentation is recorded and we will be posting it on our website. After today, I will be sending a PDF version of this presentation to everybody in attendance so that you have all access to the links that we go over today and to be able to review the information. So let's look at the agenda. So today we're going to talk about, well, what's the difference? What's the difference between certificates, associate degrees, and bachelor's degrees? Because sometimes it can just get confusing and a lot of students that I work with aren't really sure where to start. So we're just going to look at the big overview, the biggest differences, and then we'll take some time to independently go through certificates, associate degrees, and bachelor's degrees. While we review all of these topics, we are going to be taking some time to go to the Bellevue College website to look at them individually to show you how to access that information on your own. And then we're going to talk really briefly at the end about if you're a Center for High School program student, what might be the best fit for you. And of course, we're going to review contact information at the end as well. So the first thing I want to do today, um, for those of you who are with us at this point, I understand it might not be a lot, but I would love to see of those of you who are with us today, what are you considering? Have you considered earning a degree at Bellevue College? Um, so if you could please submit your answer to the Q&A box, that would be awesome. I just want to get a sense of who's with us today. So um, we'll give you a few seconds, but Anastasia, if you want to let me know if anyone's submitting an answer, that would be awesome. Yeah, for sure. As they come in. If we don't have any, that's OK. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. Oh, yes. OK, so. We have some we have some students interested in associates, mostly um, just some classes, not really associates, but some questions about it. Um, yes, definitely are interested in associates. And there's um, one that wishes to earn the Associates Science Track 1, so a little bit more specific in Great. the Associates. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing back out since I can't see the Q&A box. Yes, and so, uh, as mm -hmm. well as a transfer. So yeah, we have lots of um, questions about that. Great. Yeah. So just to clarify, today we're not going to be going over the requirements for these degrees. Today we're just going over what are these degrees so you can understand what's the best pathway for you. We have some um, information about um, requirements and things like that available on the website, but we really encourage you to meet with an advisor to review that information. So I just wanted to say that really quickly. So we'll just continue on. Thank you, Anastasia. So let's talk about degrees and certificates at Bellevue College. Degrees and certificates vary by credit amount and time. So those are the biggest differences, is how many credits do you need to earn a degree or a certificate and how long is it gonna take you? So at Bellevue College, we offer certificates. And when you hear certificates, you should be thinking skills building. 
So people usually earn certificates to build a specific skill, either for a profession that they're in or for a career, which is the same thing as a profession now that I realize that that's what I said. Um, so for example, one of the certificates we have at Bellevue College is yoga instruction, um, but we also have many, many more options. Another um, option at Bellevue College is an associate's degree, and an associate's degree is something a student can earn to either continue on at college or university, or you can earn an associate's degree and go straight into a career. And it's kind of the same situation for a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's degree is going to be something that you can use to go straight into employment, or you can use it to continue on in education and get a master's degree or a doctorate degree. So those are some kind of general identifications for those degrees. But let's let's look at it a little bit more visually. So the first degree, the biggest degree at Bellevue College is a bachelor's degree. And a bachelor's degree is a, at least 180 credits, which should take a student at least four years to complete. The average is four to six years to complete a bachelor's degree in the United States. So it's definitely at Bellevue College, the biggest degree in size of credits and time. And then we have associate degrees, which are maybe more commonly heard of at Bellevue College. Um, associate degrees are uh, at least 90 credits and take at least two years to, to complete. So you'll notice here that they're literally about half the size of a bachelor's degree. At BC, we also offer certificates of achievement, certificates of accomplishment, and certificates of completion. Each of these certificates vary in what they're made of, what they're meant for, how many credits are required and how long it takes. And there's so many different kinds of certificates, it's hard to really quantify it in one way. As you can see here, they can be up to 89 credits, which is just like an associate's degree, or they can be simply 20 credits. So we'll take a little bit closer of a look at that by talking specifically about certificates. So we have the link here for where you can find this information on the Bellevue College website, but let's talk about certificates a little bit. So students can earn certificates to earn a set of skills to find a job or to stay in like current in their current profession. We have stackable certificates so you can build them on top of each other and other degrees and can eventually lead to maybe a longer certificate program or a longer degree. And certain certificates are also part of nested programs towards earning like a bachelor's degree. And nested programs are something that we'll talk about after we've reviewed each of the degrees today. So Bellevue College offers many certificates for various professional and technical fields. And we're going to take a look at a few examples just so you can get a sense of what we're talking about when we're talking about certificates. So the first one we're going to look at today, which is pretty popular for students who are interested in nursing, is the Nursing Assistant Certified Certificate of Completion. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and it'll take us to the Bellevue College website. All right, Anastasia, can you confirm that we can see the Bellevue College website, please? I can confirm. It looks amazing. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So this is the Nursing Assistant Certified Certificate of Completion. And as you read here, it talks about how this is a 176 hour of didactic education training in a skills laboratory and clinical experience in both nursing home and hospital. And so students who do the certificate, um, it prepares you for basic assistance to patients in hospitals and nursing homes. This course is approved by the Washington Department of Social and Health Services and Department of Health. So if you were to earn this certificate, you would be eligible to take this specific exam and then you could become certified as a nursing assistant in Washington State. So this specific certificate would leave, lead you to a specific certification that might be required for certain nursing assistant positions in the state. On this page, you'll also see learning outcomes as well as the required coursework to earn this certificate. So for this certificate, it's only 12 credits. So this is probably one of the smaller certificates we have, but the, I know that this certificate is these four classes along with experience working inside of a nursing home. Um, so this is just one example of a certificate of completion. So if we go back to our PowerPoint, the next one I wanted to take a look at was a certificate of accomplishment in game design. So a certificate of accomplishment, this one specifically is more about just learning like the general knowledge and principles of game design and application of those principles on a variety of platforms. Students will learn concepts in different kinds of games and how to create them using different digital tools. And then as we scroll down, we'll see the learning outcomes as well, which is basically like once you finish the certificate, what you should know. 
And you'll see that this page has a gainful employment disclosure. So if a student was interested in this and interested in, well, what kind of work could I get with the certificate or um, of students who earn the certificate at Bellevue College, what are their rates of getting employment and things like that? I believe you could go to this PDF here and it would give you more information about employment after the certificate. And this is a 25 credit certificate. So students would have to take all of these classes in digital media arts in order to earn the certificate. So again, certificates are gonna vary in size and shape and what they're meant for. So the third kind of certificate we have is certificate of achievement. And we're gonna look at medical administrative assistant. So for this certificate, it's again gonna be different. Um, it's meant for medical administrative assistant programming, which prepares students to do administrative functions in a health setting, such as um, reception, basic medical documentation, billing, et cetera. You can again see the learning outcomes, as well as the gainful employment disclosure. And if we scroll down, we'll see that this certificate, which is a certificate of achievement, has a lot more courses that are required of it in order for a student to earn it. So this degree is for, sorry, certificate is 48 to 57 credits. So these are three examples of how credits could be done in a quarter, or they might take a year or more to complete. So because most of us are here probably to talk about associate degrees and bachelor's degrees, I didn't wanna to focus too much on certificates. So we're gonna go ahead and move along to associate degrees. So associate degrees have two outcomes that a student could do. Students looking to earn an associate degree might be interested in looking into a university, or they might just simply wanna go ahead and start working, get that career on the road. So there's different kinds of associate degrees for each of these pathways. If a student knows that they wanna attend a four-year university, they should be considering a transfer associates degree. And we're gonna talk more specifically about what is that and why is that the best path for a university. If a student is interested in going into a career, they're gonna to wanna to look at professional technical associate degrees. And again, we'll look at that more closely as well. So we're gonna start with transfer associate degrees. Transfer associate degrees are meant for students who intend to go to a four-year institution and complete a bachelor's degree. Transfer associate degrees help students to complete their general education requirements of said bachelor's degree, which is usually those first two years of a degree. So if you earn a transfer associate's degree and you transfer to a four-year university to earn a bachelor's degree, you might enter at that four-year university as a junior because you've completed those associate's degree and those general education requirements attached to that. So students who earn transfer associate degrees, you can apply to a four-year school as a first-year student or a transfer student. That's gonna depend on your situation. It's gonna be different for every student. And you can apply 90 credits of your transfer associate's degree to your bachelor's degree. Like I just said, would put you in junior standing at that bachelor's degree program. So a little bit more about applications. You're gonna be a first-year applicant if you're applying to colleges and universities as a senior in high school. You're gonna be a transfer applicant if you're applying to universities after you've graduated from high school. Transfer associate degrees can also help students complete prerequisites for certain majors so that you're major ready once you get to a university campus. So for more information about prerequisites for specific majors, you need to visit the website of the four-year school that you want to attend. That's where you're gonna get your most accurate information about what they're requiring of any students. So let's keep looking at transfer associate degrees. So at Bellevue College, we have a few different types of transfer associate degrees, and that's what we're gonna look at right now. The first type, and actually the most common associate degree for transfer associate degrees, is the Associates of Arts and Sciences Direct Transfer Agreement, which is also known as AASDTA. The Direct Transfer Agreement guarantees that all 90 credits of this degree, this specific arts and science degree, will be transferable to a four-year institution in Washington State. So again, the direct transfer agreement means that all 90 credits of this specific transfer associates degree can transfer to a four-year school in Washington State. Um, if you earn this degree, you also have the action, the, sorry, you also have the option to earn an academic concentration, which we'll also talk about more specifically later on. 
And again, like I said, this is the most popular transfer degree at Bellevue College. And oftentimes it's the best fit for um, many high school students or students for the Center for High School Program who are enrolled at Bellevue College, who intend to go to a four-year school to earn a bachelor's degree. The other kind of transfer associate's degree that we have is called a major related program or MRP. And this helps students to become major ready for specific majors such as business, math education, or music. And these are only transferable within institutions that BC has a partnership with. We also have science track one and two degrees. So students can complete many of their math and science related prerequisites by doing a science track associates degree, a science track transfer associates degree. We have two tracks. The first track is for biological, environmental resources and sciences, geology, earth science or chemistry. And the second track is much more about engineering, computer science, physics, atmospheric science, et cetera. So these are our transfer associate degrees. These are all generally transferable within Washington State, but that direct transfer agreement, that DTA is gonna be that guarantee that all 90 credits are transferable. If you're wondering, well, how do I know if one's transferable to a school or not? You can always go inquire with that four-year school and be like, I'm trying to earn the Science Track 1 Associates Transfer Degree at Bellevue College. Would that be accepted here? So let's take another look at specifically, again, at Bellevue College, what kind of transfer associate degrees do we have? So again, we have that Associates in Arts and Science Direct Transfer Agreement, which is generic, really flexible. You can take, you know, you have a ton of class choice and you can earn that academic concentration if you wish to focus in more on a certain subject. But we also have the major related programming degree, so those MRPs, and we have that available in business, math education, and music. And then we have five options for science track transfer associate degrees. We have a one science track one degree, and then we have four different science track two associate transfer degrees in science. So as you can see, we have nine transfer associate degrees available at Bellevue College to any students. And again, if you have questions about specific requirements, you should meet with an advisor for your specific program. All right, so let's talk about academic concentrations. So academic concentrations, you could kind of think of like a minor. Um, academic concentrations are so that students can focus on one area of study and earn this on top of the AAS DTA. Each concentration is at least 20 credits, which will be four five credit classes. And there's a specific list of courses that you need to choose from in order to earn that concentration from the department. Academic concentrations are only available if they're already approved by the department. So students can't just go and make whatever they want. There's a pre-approved list of what concentrations are available and they're, they're listed on department web pages. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the criminal justice concentration. So this is the criminal justice department web page. And if you scroll down, you'll find information about their concentration in criminal justice. So you can earn this by successfully completing 20 credits out of the following criminal justice courses. So as I said earlier, there's a pre-approved list, it's approved by the department. So if you wanted a criminal justice concentration, you would have to take and pass four of the classes from this list of six classes. So I believe you can pick from any of these six courses. And then as soon as you do that and earn your associate's degree, you can also earn this academic concentration, which is pretty cool. And again, this is available with the Associates in Arts and Science Direct Transfer Agreement degree. So at Bellevue College, we have academic concentrations um, in anthropology, criminal justice, communication studies, cultural ethnic studies, gender studies, geography, history, mathematics, political science, psychology, sociology, sustainability, and theater arts and drama. So again, I'll be sending out this presentation as a PDF um, probably tomorrow so that you'll have access to all these links and things like that. But you can find any of these requirements for these concentrations by going to the Bellevue College website, searching for a department, and on their webpage, you should be able to find the information you need to understand how to earn a concentration. Okay, so that was transfer associate degrees, which are the pathway for students who are intending to go to a four-year university and earn a bachelor's of arts or a bachelor's of science degree. 
Now we're going to talk about the other kind of associate's degrees. So the other kind of associate's degrees, which are more meant for students who are intending to go directly into a career field, is professional and technical associate degrees. Like I said, this is meant for students who are looking to train to go specifically into a career field. And this degree is not designed to transfer. There is an exception though, and this gets a little confusing. So professional technical associate degrees are not designed to transfer to four-year universities, except if you earn an associates in applied science transfer degree. An applied science degree is gonna be considered a professional technical associate degree because it is more focused on like how that subject is as a career. So that the applied is your key word for that. It's not transferable to four-year schools, even though it says transfer in it, but we'll talk about this a little bit more later on. So let's look at the different kinds of professional technical associate degrees that we have here at BC. So we have Associates of Arts and Sciences, your generic AA, right? So generic AA's Associates of Arts is non-transferable and it's meant for students who are really just going straight into the career, any job that requires a simple associate's degree. Um, for example, one of our Associates of Arts is a business management degree. So let's click that and take a look at what's up with that one. So when we click that, it's taking us to that AA in business management. And we can see here that it's designed to help students learn new or enhance existing business skills and obtain a strong, broad-based knowledge of business management in manufacturing, retail, and service industries. This program also promotes success in both profit and nonprofit organizations. Um, and certificates in entrepreneurship and project management may be applied to this degree. So this is an example of those stackable certificates. So if you only wanted an associate's degree and you wanted to go straight into business management, you might consider this associate's degree and you might consider adding like an entrepreneurship or project management certificate on top of it. Again, we have the learning outcomes, which are a little bit longer because this is a bigger degree, right? This degree is, and we'll see at the bottom here, after all the coursework, we can see that this is a 90 credit program. So this is a two year degree. So let's, let's look at the other kind of professional technical associates degree. And that's gonna be our Associates of Applied Sciences transfer degree. And those letters are gonna be AAS-T. So this is a professional technical associates. Again, it says transfer, but it's not technically transferable to any four-year school. It's more specifically connected to a specific applied bachelor's program. So these degrees are designed for the dual purpose of immediate employment and preparation for the junior year in a Washington State Bachelor's of Applied Science degree program. So we'll also talk about in a little bit, what is an applied bachelor's program? Basically, they're connected. You need an applied science associate's degree to do the applied bachelor's program. So this degree is only transferable to a community college or a partner institution. So if there's really a partnership going on, and um, if you're, for example, if you're planning on staying at Bellevue College to complete any of our bachelor's degrees, then you might be required to complete an associate's and applied science transfer degree first. So let's take a look at one of these transfer associate, uh, sorry, applied sciences associate's degree, which is business management, AAST. So at Bellevue College, we offer business management, AA, and we offer a business management applied sciences transfer degree. So if you click that, Take us to the Bellevue College website again. And the biggest thing about this is when you come in here, you'll notice there's a lot more words here. And it immediately says AAST transfer in business management to clarify this is different. So this one combines technical courses required for job preparation and college level general education courses. So if we look at the business AA, it doesn't talk about college level general education courses. So that's the main difference, is that earning an applied science associate's degree is gonna include college level general education courses so that if you want to go on to an applied bachelor's degree, you can, because this is like a stepping stone to an applied bachelor's degree. So this degree is really similar to the other one. It's just gonna have different course options and more elective spaces, but it's still just a total of 90 credits. So we're gonna take a step back now and I'm gonna show you how to just access associate degrees and all of this information from the Bellevue College website. 
So we're going to click this link right here, and this should take us just to the Bellevue College homepage. So this should be familiar. You all should have been here before. Um, and when we're on the Bellevue College homepage, when we're going to try to find information about degrees, the first button you're going to want to click is Programs of Study right here. When you click Programs of Study, it'll take you to quite a few links about our online catalog, programs A to Z. So if you just want to see what programs do we offer and what subjects. But we're actually just going to click Degree and Certificate Information. This is kind of the most important link for right now. So it breaks it down into the three kinds of degrees we have at Bellevue College. So bachelor's degrees, transfer associate degrees, which is what you need if you want to just go from a transfer associates to a four year university or professional and technical degrees, which are those applied associate degrees. So you can click any of these links and it will take you to the same page. It takes you to this page where it just has every single program of study, which means every single degree and certificate we offer. So on this page, you have your bachelor's degrees, which we will talk about after this more specifically. You have your transfer associate degrees, which um, we talked about first. So you can see the direct transfer agreement, the different MRPs in business, math, education, music, as well as all of our science tracks. So if you're interested in a transfer associates degree, you would come to this web page and you would click on one of these links. And in here is where you can find the requirements for the degree, as well as a PDF that also has the requirements of the degree. If you stay on this page and you scroll down, you'll see our non-transfer associates degrees, which are those general associate degrees that are straight for students who want to go straight into a career. And then we also have professional and technical associate degrees, which we mentioned earlier. So this is a pretty long list. And you'll see on this list that there are a few just associates and arts degrees, as well as that associates and applied science transfer degree. So if you just remember kind of what these letters stand for, that will help you kind of navigate what options are the best fit for you. And then if you scroll even further down, you'll see all of our certificates. So we have baccalaureate certificates as well as general certificates. And if you're interested in a certificate, I really encourage you to click it, read the requirements and talk to an advisor to see if it's something that is feasible for you at this time. All right. So now we're going to go into bachelor's degrees, and this is our last degree for today. So we're kind of coming into the questions and answers section, but we're going to talk about this first. So if a student goes to earn a bachelor's degree, which is that four year degree, there are um, two options after a bachelor's degree, and there are also two kinds of bachelor's degrees. So there's the bachelor's of arts and science and a bachelor's of applied arts and science. And I have a flow chart coming up in a later slide that will show you exactly how everything connects together. So bear with me. So after you earn a bachelor's degree, you can either go straight into a career or you can continue your education and earn a master's degree or a doctorate degree or even a PhD. So as I mentioned, we do have two different kinds of bachelor's degrees. There are bachelor's of arts or science, which is what you'll find generally at any university. Um, such as University of Washington, or we have applied bachelor's degrees, which you would find at community technical colleges or sometimes at a few four-year institutions. And bachelor's degrees, like we just said, they're either for career or furthering your education. In a bachelor's degree, you can select your major of study. So I majored in Spanish and psychology. Um, you can also select to do a minor or you could even double major. There's a lot of options you can do with a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's degree is also, since it's higher education, more years of school, it's going to open more doors to job opportunities and potentially higher paying job opportunities. At Bellevue College, we offer bachelor's degrees through our college and through our partnerships with Eastern Washington University, University of Washington, and Washington State University. The degrees we offer are Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Applied Art, Bachelor of Science and Nursing, and Bachelor of Applied Technology. So we're going to go ahead and click this link. And this is taking us back to that Bellevue College homepage. I know we've seen this before, but I think it's really important to show you how to get to this information. So again, you're going to go to Programs of Study. And then 
we're back to this page. We went to associate degrees and everything else by clicking degree and certificate information, which you can do. You can still get to bachelor's degrees that way. But I like to click the bachelor's degrees link right here because it takes you to a page that's specifically about all of our bachelor's degrees. And we have 12 different bachelor's degrees at Bellevue College. And as you scroll down this page, it tells you about the different programs we offer. The BAS stands for Bachelor of Applied Science. The BS stands for just Bachelor of Science. And you can also see here just a quick little blurb about the program. And if you click the button right here, it'll take you to that program's web page. So um, I really like coming to this bachelor's page if you're interested in earning a bachelor's degree at Bellevue College because it really lays everything out nicely for you. Oh, I did not realize I did animation on this, so excuse me. Um, this is the flow chart that I mentioned earlier. So let's kind of take a step back and think about, okay, that was a lot of information. I kind of forget how everything connects, so let's review. So we, these dark blue boxes are the two kinds of transfer, sorry, two kinds of associate degrees. The first kind right here is the transfer associates degree, and you see that DTA, MRP, and science track. If you want to earn a transfer associates degree, your option after that is to then transfer it and its credits to a four-year university to earn a Bachelor of Arts or Science. And after you earn a Bachelor of Arts or Science at a four-year university, you can go on to continue your education or go to a career. The other associate's degree is a professional technical associate's, which is an applied science or arts transfer degree. If you earn an applied science or arts degree, then if you wish, you can either go straight to a career or you can choose to do a bachelor's of applied arts or science. Those two are connected, right? So if you wanna do a bachelor's of applied arts or science, you have to probably have to do a applied science transfer associates degree first. They're meant to be built together like that. And so then if you were to earn an applied bachelor's degree, then you could go on into your career. So this was just kind of to hopefully help lay everything out flat, just what we reviewed to kind of help give you a basic understanding of what your different pathways are. So applied bachelor's degrees are um, for students to earn a professional tech, oh, sorry, let me back up a little bit. If students earn a professional or technical applied associate's degree, they can use it towards an applied bachelor's degree, which are now commonly offered at many community and technical college, colleges, such as Bellevue College and other ones in the state. A Bachelor of Applied Science is usually the letters BAS. A Bachelor's of Applied Arts would be BAA. And an Applied Science degree prepares students to start a career right after graduation. And the word science doesn't necessarily mean the programs related to a field of science such as geography or biology. The word science is more attached to what's required of you in the program, how many credits, and oftentimes it also involves some sort of um, field experience in the career or technical research project. So at Bellevue College, we have 12 bachelor's degrees, and here they are, but I wanted to color coat them to help you see the different kinds. So, so many students are interested in computer science, and our computer science program at Bellevue College is just a bachelor's of science, which means you do not need to have an applied science associate's degree to do the bachelor's of science. Anyone can apply to the computer science program at Bellevue College and you do not need an associate's degree. Then we also have all of these green ones. All of these green ones are our applied bachelor's degrees, which means that you need an applied associate's degree in order to continue into that bachelor's degree. You do have to apply to these bachelor's degree programs, even if you're a Bellevue College student, um, they are all selective admissions, so there's no guarantee that you will be um, able to enroll. You have to apply. So the, again, these green ones are the applied bachelors. And then we have orange. This orange one is applied arts degree in interior design. And this reddish pink one is our nursing program, our RN to BSN. And if you're interested in nursing, you really need to go talk to the nursing program. They have their own advisors and they would be able to more accurately tell you about that program. So another, taking another step back to talk about the nested degree programming when it comes to applied degrees. Um, 
So an example would be in accounting. So we have certificates in accounting, associate's degrees in accounting, and a bachelor's of applied science in applied accounting. So if you are interested in that, you would want to check out these certificates, maybe earn a certificate, and then you could also work towards earning your applied associates in accounting, and then you'd be ready to apply to and potentially complete that bachelor's of applied accounting. So they are connected and nested in that sense that to do the bachelor's in applied accounting, you need the applied accounting associates in applied science degree. So hopefully this visual kind of gives you a sense that it's like stepping stones. So now that we've reviewed all the different degree types, which is a lot of information, um, for the students that are with us today for the Center for High School Programs, which is career education options, LIP, running start, et cetera, college and the high school. Um, transfer associate degrees tend to be the better fit for our students um, because Center for High School program students specifically running start tend to want to go to a four-year university after they graduate high school um, and after they're finished with the running start program. So for many of those students, the most common one is the Associates in Arts and Science Direct Transfer Agreement, which is what AAS DTA stands for. And this is often the best fit because the courses that you need to take at Bellevue College for your high school graduation requirements will most likely fit into this degree if they're college level. And also, again, it's is meant for a four year university pathway. It's meant to be transferred to a bachelor's degree program. And by transferring 90 credits of this associate's degree, you're going to save time and money on your bachelor's degree. This degree is also most popular at Bellevue College in general for anyone because of the flexibility. So this degree is a 90 credit degree, but you have a lot of choice when it comes to what classes you take to complete those 90 credits. Some students are able to complete the transfer associate degrees in business or science tracks. However, it's a little less flexible, as in it's way more specific around these are the classes you have to take. And it also requires higher levels of math and science. So if you're considering any of these degrees, you really should meet with an advisor of your program. So if you're interested in the business transfer associates degree, you should at least be at a pre-calculus level when you start at our program. And if you're interested in a science track degree, you're gonna have to be at that calculus level. So that's all the content I have for you today. I'm a little over 30 minutes. Um, but thank you so much for joining. Um, we wanted to leave some space for questions and answers. So go ahead and submit your questions in the Q&A box. And before I ask Anastasia to read some out, um, I just wanted to review that for the Center for High School Programs, our contact information for current students and returning students is chsprograms at bellevuecollege.edu. If you're a new Running Start student or hoping to start in the fall, we ask you to please only reach out to Running Start new student at bellevuecollege.edu. And for anyone who's a part of the Center for High School Programs, if you ever have any questions, we do have a front desk and our phone number is 425-564-2026. And another reminder, if you have any questions about associate degrees, what's the best fit for you or planning those out, you really need to meet with an advisor from your program. Okay.